So the first topic is the unique adhesive properties of Omega Skin. Now, most brands out there have two features on the adhesive. They have airy grass and repositionable, which means the material slides, and if you get bubbles, you can press them away. Now, Marco, when you guys made Omega Skins, so you mm. actually took out the airy grass feature and just left the repositionable feature. Why is that? Well, uh, to be honest, in, in, in our opinion, they are too big. Yeah. So, so they are so damn visible, especially with high gloss. Yeah. So you see all the stretches. Yeah. And sometimes we got complaints for that. Yeah. So if you change them and then make those air channels very thin, yeah. that, like they are nearly invisible, yeah. it's, it still works, but you don't have any, any visible lines or whatever. Cool. Uh, the only thing you have to know how to, how to install that part. Absolutely. So that's where the wrapping suit came along in terms of this technical video. Yeah. What you have to think about with Omega Skins now is because you don't have that air egress feature in full, because you have it in the micro with the repositional feature. Mm -hmm. So now in terms of install, Marco, mm -hmm. the main thing is right now, Instead of kind of using your glove a lot, which a lot of people do with those air egress repositionable type films, the idea now with Omega Skins is just now squeegee with firm overlapping squeegee strokes, kind of do it shorter to make sure all the air goes out. If you do get bubbles, they still mostly come away, which yeah, is cool. True, true. And also you want to install it like PPF and 10. Mm, true, true. You know, the whole thing is uh, because they are tinier, yeah. you cannot uh, spread the whole air, air out completely so, yeah. so, uh, so so you have to do that if it's too much it cannot go in the channels so yeah. you have to do it overlapping yeah. and and w with enough pressure and then there's no big deal at all actually then you're good to go and i think yeah. a good final tip too is other than squeezing like that is just when you're done with say a hood or a fender take your heat gun and just do kind of a slow check fix it a little bit yeah and if you see any air press it out and if you do have a bubble don't try to make it smaller because there's not those big air channels that will eat True. it yeah. take a tiny hole with the air release pin yeah. and then push it out and then you're good to go. But for the most part, it works like a standard film, but again, you just have to squeegee a little different. Yeah. Minor tweak, but the payoff is no channel collapse, which exactly. is paint like fender. Exactly. Great. So with that, let's get to the next topic.